Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today it's going to be a quick video on me transplanting these plants out into new containers. So these containers I've had for over 10 years and they've been used every season since then. But just recently, while I was watering the containers, um, I noticed that the material of the container was very crumbly and it was pretty much falling apart. So after searching high and low, because I think initially I wanted to get a self-watering container because I really do love them, but the self-watering containers that I found were either too big for the space that I have or too small and they didn't really quite fit into this, especially this area here between the two um, garage doors where I have a very narrow space. So I finally decided to get the um, container here that I've got. I've got six of these and I'm going to be using four for the uh, four containers at the front. So these are um, almost, I think, between 15 to 16 inches wide in diameter. They are made out of a special plastic and they are supposed to be, um, you know, weather and crack resistant for our zone. And they also have uh, drainage holes already uh, drilled in, so I don't have to worry about that. But the only thing that I don't like about this one is they don't have a little drip tray because I actually don't like water dripping on the, um, you know, the ground or the, the stone that we have here. So in the future, what I may end up doing is looking for a drip 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 tray excuse me to uh, put under these but for now i think these would do and i also like the fact that uh, the diameter is very similar to the uh, original white containers that i have here so moving this entire container into the new uh, black container is actually quite a heavy job because i did try to lift up the root ball and I feel like it's actually too heavy for me so I'm gonna have my husband help me with this job so what he's going to have to do is he's going to gently um, break the entire white uh, container and just move the entire root ball into the black container without disturbing the roots because I feel like it's a little bit late now in this season so if I disturb the root ball it's going to take a little while for it to um, you know recoup so any uh, exchanging of soil and anything like that I think I'm going to do that either in the fall or next spring so uh, let's get on with it so now that we've got all the four containers successfully transplanted and placed in their locations, I'm going to show you how they look at um, this time and give you an update uh, now that we are in early July. So here's how the plants look the morning after. So uh, last night after transplanting, I water everything in. And as you can see, this is the morning after and everything in the containers are still looking fresh and they're looking fantastic. So here's an update of the uh, four containers uh, at the front of the garden. So you can see that all of the plants in the containers are still looking gorgeous and they were not distraught by the transplanting process uh, that we did a few weeks ago. And you can see that the plants are just starting to, uh, to spill over the size of the container. So that's looking really pretty. And just in case you're wondering, I actually have the dwarf Alberta spruce in the middle and I also have six plants um, in each of the container. I have I have two Calabracoas, I have two White Alyssum, and I also have two Creeping Jenny. And um, I also notice the reason why the Calabracoas here is called the um, Pink Lemonade because they first open up into that sort of yellow, bright yellow uh, color. And as the days progresses, the bright yellow, the bright yellow, sorry, um, slowly changes over to that sort of peachy pink color and then eventually into that deeper pink um, bright pink color and it, it also has that yellow color that matches the yellow color of the throat on the uno pink color bracket that i have in the same container and i also love the fact that that yellow also kind of resembles the color uh, yellow or that choose green yellow on the creeping jelly jenny so i think that's really really pretty so anyway um, that pretty much concludes today's video i want to say thank you so much for watching i hope to see you all next time take care everyone bye bye for now